Hey, Dinarland Ninja here. Today is Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. These are some Dinarland highlights from July 9th, 2019. Uh, this is from Eagle One via PDK. I've talked to some high sources. I'm hearing very good rates. The whole thing is coming together. Things are moving fast. Banks are looking good. Get ready. This week is looking very good. Okay, from Frank26 uh, from KTFA via Lobby777. We are now at a close encounter with the RI. Okay, this is from Mountain Goat. Many of you still ask me about 800 numbers. You ask if all this is really going to happen. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. There are already 800 numbers published. The bank already have currency exchange centers within the banks and you can call the numbers anytime you want. There are no other special numbers planned. Get it? How many times must I talk about this? But why would you call anyhow now, not since the rate is still too low? Why would Parliament form a separate finance committee just to look into the matter of corruption in the CBI and currency auctions and as to why the financial management law is not being administ administered and implemented? It has been passed for weeks now. Why would they do this if the RV was already scheduled to go? Another reason why no RV was going to happen. The Department of Economic Studies held a scientific symposium entitled Change in the Value of Iraqi Currency Benefits and Cost, held on 7-4-2019. Why would they do this if the RV was already scheduled to go? My advice is relax. Let Seder run his magic. He's on our side and wants the reinstatement just as bad, if not more than us. He is working for reforms within Iraq. Remember, his party slash coalition won the election in 2018, and he ran an anti-corruption reform agenda. He seated Mahdi, and so the new PM must do what the coalition stands for, reforms. Okay, and this is from Sandy F. I read an article that stated the visit from the UN told Iraq if they didn't follow the sanctions against Iran, they would be put back into Chapter 7 plus sanctions. So they are not in Chapter 7. Sanctions slash restrictions against any country, entity, or individual can come about under different chapters of the UN chapter. Chapter 7 provides the authority to deal with violations by force, whereas Chapter 6 requires resolution, resolution by peaceful means. If I remember right, under Chapter 8, matters are resolved by local agencies. Matters can start off one chapter and then be transferred to another, as happened with the Kuwaiti missing persons. And that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in.